In this video, I'm going to take you through a sketchbook flip through, a visual diary of my travels through the landscapes of the Italian Riviera and the mesmerising beauty of Lake Como where Kosha Kern was teaching. There are pages where I sketch on location using watercolour and mixed media, using different methods and techniques. I will also share another sketchbook of quick studies that I took out to Italy and France. Hi, I'm Omar. I'm an artist and author and I help other artists improve their skills by sharing my knowledge from filling 40 sketchbooks. Welcome to sketchbook number 46. It is a uh, Hanamula 100% cotton. Uh, sticker says everything is interesting when you draw it. This first sketch is of Jane who I met at the Italy workshop with Kosha. She was one of the fellow participants. Um, this is a scene of um, a square in Rapallo. This is actually Kosha. She had just done a demo about um, shape. Then we had a chance to sketch and this is what I created. As you can see, I have put all these textures in the background and it was really interesting to pick out all that negative space around her and this, uh, this is a former fountain or well this is unfinished. It was actually done at sunset in one of the Cinque Terre towns. Uh, the people were just starting to pack up after a day on the beach and we were waiting for a, a table to have our aperitifo. And I wish I could have uh, done more swimmers, you know, I could have worked into it some more once I got home, but I decided to leave it as is. Now this was done uh, Whilst I was in Italy, it was done from a photograph. This is of Lake Como. We were given these stickers by a very lovely gentleman who is also a chef and he ran a deli. So I decided to use that as part of this building here. I won't bore you too much, but one of my favorite things that I saw were the rock formations around Lake Como. Um, they were lovely movements like that. I, I don't know exactly what it was made of, probably granite. And I wish my photographs had picked up on some of this beautiful flowing rocks um, just sort of emerging from the tree line. This is actually done in uh, white Posca pen and also a uh, jelly roll pen. If you are enjoying this video, I would love a thumbs up, a comment and a subscribe. It would really help me grow this channel. Now, this type of work uh, is what Kosha called snippets and I combine them with panels. You can actually see the time lapse process for this in a previous video, which I'll include in the description. So it's just taken from a, a day that uh, we where we took the train from Milan to Rapallo on the coast. And so it's just scenes that um, I took photos of everyday stuff like uh, walking to the train station to having a coffee and um, the view of the promenade. Uh, this was another one created after I got back. I can't remember which town it was, or it's a mixture of all of them. Uh, I think my favorite one is actually this uh, lady on the balcony, she's hanging out the laundry and I tried to take as many photos of this because I became quite fascinated by it. I haven't really started a travel journal practice but this is very much a type of journal that I would be happy to keep because these little snippets as Kosher calls them are so easy to put together and they're incredibly fast and that's something that I'm trying to bring forward in my work a lot more just to work faster so I don't overthink. Uh, this is another one. This is of um, Santa Margarita when we walked from that town towards Portofino. So that was the cathedral and that's um, one of the, the ladies sketching the cathedral. And it was a, a really beautiful walk Again, this was done um, after I got back. This is the, um, the very distinctive church at Portofino. Again, a uh, limited palette. Uh, this is a mixture of uh, watercolour and coloured pencil. I'm quite proud of this little statue that I was able to sketch out 
on the side of a cathedral normally I just would have not tried at all but I feel like I'm now able to simplify and get the main subject matter down. You can see in this area here that I've used collage and I think that really adds a lovely touch to this page. It's understated but it brings a lot to the overall theme. Uh, this was done uh, once I got back from Lake Como and it's actually uh, something that I had to sort of rustle up based on a photo. I am actually going to be uh, hosting my own art workshop with Blue Walk in October of next year and um, I needed something for Instagram so I, I just took a photo and did a lovely sort of mixed media piece. It's mainly watercolour though, there is a little bit of colour pencil in there. This is a, a castle, apparently it, it was owned by somebody quite famous and I really loved this tree that was, um, we were walking on the opposite uh, side of this uh, peninsula and going through like a forest and there was loads of trees and I wanted to capture this silhouetted against this scene as if we were viewing it through, um, it looks almost magical in some ways. This is acrylic marker, the dark blue one, also an eco line and oh gosh I've, well, I can't remember what else I put in there. I think neo colour down here as well so um, there, there was all sorts happening here. I do recommend that you check out my YouTube video about how to create textured backgrounds like the one you see here. And also I have a Skillshare class called Expressive Sketches in Mixed Media, how I create landscapes such as this. So I'll put those two in the description below. Oh, this was a fun piece to do. You'll notice that um, I've got all sorts of tickets and um, bits of uh, sugar packets that I've collaged in, in here. Um, I should have uh, pointed out that this was a, a railway ticket in this particular piece here. And uh, this was something that Kosher talked about and uh, I had already stuck these in. Um, they're not terribly relevant to this view. This is uh, again walking towards Portofino and there's all these massive boats there. But I really liked um, how you could see these tiny little houses, well they're not houses, they're probably hotels, perched on the hillside and against this um, very deep turquoise water. Now this one, this castle is actually the same castle that you saw from uh, here um, and it's really interesting to see um, the different method I employed. Uh, this is watercolour here and, and coloured pencil and I, I love this dramatic sky. It was just starting to rain when we started out on our walk but I think I've really captured some of the sort of magical quality of it. This particular castle you can just see the yellow of that textured background coming through and also in these arches and the rocks here and I think that makes for a lovely bit of contrast and some of that continues on this side here. You can see some of the yellow in the rocks on this side of the page as well. This one here is of Manarola. It's one of the Cinque Terre towns. I climbed to the opposite hill so that I could take this photo. Uh, it was really fascinating to see these because they're just literally perched on the side of this cliff, tiny little houses all on top of each other. And the sun was shining and uh, we took trips to three of the towns all in the same afternoon, so it was quite special. Now this was done on location. It was um, Santa Margarita Ligera. Kosha was teaching about shape and I really love this way of working where you just put down the shape of your building first, so just really roughly. Once it's dry you add more details with pen or pencil. Um, I decided to use pencil and I think it's really similar to how I tend to watercolour, uh, my loose watercolour with the ink line anyway and you can see um, it's kind of mismatched you know when I looked carefully uh, maybe I, the proportion of my, my towers were um, better observed 
uh, and I've got this lovely uh, stamp here, Embrace the Wonkiness. There is definitely a lot of wonky here. I would have found tackling a cathedral of this complexity very daunting but it's great how kosher was able to help us to see the simplicity just picking out the the most important aspects and for me i always try and seek out the areas of most contrast and that really helped me out this time this was a similar idea where I'm looking at the shape of the castle first. So I painted the shape of uh, the Rapallo castle. Um, you can just see it was very rough. So you got the basic building, but also the, the rocks here and all the path that was leading towards the road. And then once it was dry, I added the line work in coloured pencil. Looking at this piece, it seems so simple, but it was probably a breakthrough moment for me because I was able to sketch on location so quickly and just add enough details to give an indication of that scene. So that was an important piece for me to undertake. Um, we, I'm sorry I'm jumping about all over the place. Um, just to say that this sketchbook is not done in chronological order of the days that I was visiting all the different parts of um, the northern Italy. The day we went to Bellagio was um, we had arrived in Como and it started raining uh, and this is actually uh, people had bought um, like raincoats from the various vendors and I decided to use yellow because of um, these people that I saw I just had to take photos it was absolutely chucking it down and I had to take refuge inside a church so these are actually done from photographs and then funnily enough the guy who looked after the church um, said it was time to leave I think it was about six o'clock luckily it was time for aperitifo so um, I sat down at a cafe uh, with two of my sketching buddies and I finished this off and I really, really love the simplicity of this. I love rough shapes and texture line like this. I think it's so effective. This little cat here actually came down the steps to say hello to me, but I didn't have a photo of him. This was another idea that Koja had where we use collage and then draw on top of it. I think it's okay. Probably the colors that I chose I don't mind this pink newspaper, but I think if I, I'm going to show you something else that I'm over the page. I wouldn't use something this dark again if I was going to collage um, with another piece of paper. Uh, you can see where I had the same kind of um, setup where I had used, this is literally just um, a paper napkin. And I peeled some of it off because I, I wasn't sure that it was going to work with this piece. But it does work really well here. This is a scene of Leno, uh, a place on Lake Como where we were staying. I went out one morning and the sun was just starting to come through road here. And this little jetty is one of the, um, the ferry ports. I think there's a great energy in this. And um, I love the, the use of mixed media. Now, this was done whilst I was in Italy. This was going towards, um, this was going from Leno to um, Sala, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. <laughs> um, and again, these are just little views that I saw. All of it was done on location, actually. So we had time to stop and just sketch for 10 minutes at a time, which um, I really love doing. And I think that's a great way to fill a sketchbook without too much pressure and again the uh, limited palette certainly helps. I think this water pump and also this tumble down little house next to a stream is one of my favourite pieces within these panels. Uh, this is where we had lunch. This is um, after we'd had a really gorgeous lunch. It was the last but one day, again, in this beautiful little town. And there were cobbled streets, beautiful little sort of balconies, and um, the, the houses were really special. 
I do like to introduce collage now and again to my sketchbook pieces. I think they add such a, a lovely contrast against the, the darks of the landscape in the background. Both of these are Lake Como, and this is actually um, Villa Bilbiano. Um, I thought I recognised it, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And it wasn't until I got home that I realised it's appeared in Star Wars and also apparently uh, James Bond, uh, Daniel Craig movie. Um, it was beautiful and this was taken uh, on the last day just as I was leaving Leno on the ferry. Uh, it really is quite a beautiful building. I really love creating collage pieces like this. They're so much fun and very, very easy. Let me know if you'd love to see a video where I take you through this process. Now I've got a few more of these snippets and panels. This was of um, Verena, again on Lake Como, and there was a botanic garden. Most of these are scenes from the botanic garden, this one, this one, um, and this one. Uh, it was absolutely stunning. Um, it was raining, but I think it made the colours really saturated. And these are views of Leno, where we stayed on Lake Como, and I decided to use orange uh, because of the orange on this uh, logo here for railway ticket. Uh, and I loved just taking very random photos of people talking or just walking. I think they really add to the magic of that week that I spent. This colour palette is definitely my most experimental just because I saw that orange from the ticket. Overall, I do think it works rather well though. Now, this is getting towards um, my uh, retreat in France with Emma Carlyle. I'm not gonna show you all of it because I actually kept a separate sketchbook. Um, there's a few pages left here. I'm gonna show you the much smaller sketchbook that I took to Italy and France and how I filled it up. It's another Hannah Muller watercolor sketchbook and these were done on location so they're not as finished and very rough and ready so this was on the plane and um, at breakfast the day that I arrived in Milan and you can see that I've got the textured background and I just uh, put coloured pencil on top of it. It looks a little bit tentative maybe because I was um, trying to find my feet. This was at the design museum in Milan. They had really gorgeous of um, very well-known Italian products and I just had to sketch out the uh, the Vespa and the, the little Cinquecero, is that what it's called? <laughs> this was lunch at that same museum. They had this giant chair out in their grounds where we had lunch. It was um, red but I wanted to use negative space to pick out that shape. Uh, this was later on that day at Milan Castle and Joanna sang uh, sketched this out with me as the light was fading. I think we only had about 10 minutes, so that's quite good for me. Uh, this was on the train going to Rapallo the next day. Opposite me is um, Jane and Carol. Uh, we were on the train for about two hours, so there was plenty of time to sketch. I think this is uh, when we arrived, we realized that the uh, funicular to take us up the hill, it, was, um, it wasn't running that day because of uh, bad weather. So we decided to sketch um, at a restaurant. We had lunch and um, this is some of the items that I had uh, for lunch here. And also um, I think dinner uh, and aperitifo was here. Uh, this was a sunset session where Kosha um, demonstrated um, and the, a whole load of us were sitting in front of um, Rapallo Castle and it really was sunset. I didn't put this in the background. It was already um, there. I create the textured backgrounds like weeks in advance and I really enjoyed that but I do think the other study I did of Rapallo Castle was better. Uh, these are just uh, little sketches that I created of some of the participants that um, were on the retreat with Kosher. Uh, 
that that was done in ink. I'm not entirely sure if I like ink, so I decided to carry on with um, coloured pencil, and I think that's a little bit better. Now this is the um, French section when I'm waiting at the airport to um, go to Bergerac. Uh, this is uh, a scene in front of uh, the river. I think it's the Dordogne River um, and I had an aperitif while painting and it was still absolutely boiling even though it was October. Uh, these are the two Serrano statues that they have in Bergerac even though um, you know the story's made up they they still celebrate the fact that um, Serrano came from that town <laughs> Serrano de Bergerac. Uh, these were done um, in the afternoon in about 20 minutes and this was towards uh, dinner time uh, just as the sun was setting so the the colors are a lot um, darker in that one. Now this is something really special for me. I know it doesn't look like it, but um, it was a mixture of continuous line drawing and just painting actually in the market. My friend and I decided to set a timer for 15 minutes and see what we could come up with. And I actually surprised myself. You know, I think other artists could probably fit in a lot more, but for me, this was pretty good and I feel like I, I need to do more of these timed studies in person. Uh, this says um, 8th of October, waiting for the coach. We were supposed to be going to a, a local market, but um, it was delayed, so I had time to draw the other participants drawing each other. Oh, that was, um, again, that's another scene of Bergerac, just with a colored pencil. Uh, this was um, the drinks uh, one afternoon. We've got a mixture of gin and Aperol and also Prosecco. Um, I really enjoyed doing these little studies like this. And this was on the final day. Everybody was leaving to take the train to Bordeaux and some of them were going on to Paris and I was the only one left in Bergerac. So I sketched this while they were waiting for their train to arrive and um, this was probably only about five minutes work but I think it's a good indication of um, what was happening on that platform opposite me. And then I walked into town and it was market day again and I sketched these flower sellers. They got, um, they got the vegetable market and also a flower market just in front of the church. I think um, one of these ladies, I can't remember which one, maybe it was this one, actually gave me a, a thumbs up once I finished. And um, you know, it's, it is rough and ready, but it was done on location in about 10 minutes. So that's pretty good for me. And I've only got this one page left. So I think I need to um, make myself accountable and start sketching on location 15 minutes a day. I want to finish off by showing you a few pages from the France section of this particular sketchbook. Emma Carlyle did give out two completely different sketchbooks, especially for mixed media. So I was filling this one in my own time. I did show these two people and they wrote some little um, lovely little notes uh, on post-it notes. Filling panels like this is really quick because they're actually really small. So you just put down the watercolour layer just really, really roughly and then add the colour pencil detail. And there is actually a little bit of Posca pen just to bring out the whiteness of the buildings. Uh, this was done very quickly. This is actually of um, Bergerac Market. The, the first day that I was in France, I landed in Bergerac. They had a market that day, so these are taken from photos. But although I feel like um, I will do a separate uh, video just on the French retreat, I'm just going to quickly show you what else I did. Uh, olive cellars, oyster cellars and um, vegetable. I haven't finished this one, he's selling mushrooms, but the, the last two in this uh, sketchbook is of um, this castle. Uh, it was from Bainac. 
it was looking towards another chateau it was beautiful landscape it, like I, I have to talk more about this, I promise. I will create another video. Uh, this isn't actually in France. This is a, a landscape art club. And I'm thinking of setting up a sketchbook just for landscape art club because I love painting landscapes now, especially in mixed media. I really would have loved to have brought back home more souvenirs from Lake Como, but I only had hand luggage and it was really tricky to pack. So maybe I'm going to create another video where I talk a little bit more about packing for retreats and workshops abroad when you've only got hand luggage.